4,700 feet in the air sits Sinjar Mountain. Today it's used by the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment as a communications site, but this Iraqi mountain is full of history. These rock walls that you see here were supposedly used for Scud missile launchers from Saddam back in like the Gulf War, and there are three of them. So, I mean, that would make sense, you know, because from up here on top of this mountain, you could shoot a missile to Syria or Iran or Turkey or wherever. The local Yazidi people agree about the missile platforms. They built it by Saddam's people before 2003, and they, they designed those for a very big artillery or missiles to bomb Israel. The Yazidi people live right down the mountain in the town of Sinjar. They even come up the mountain where their ancient shrine sits just feet from the communications site. Although they are so close, the Yazidis aren't perceived as a security threat to the mountain. They're very peaceful people and friendly. Just they want to, to live and to work and do their jobs peacefully. Modern-day Sinjar Mountain is used for a radio retrans site. Being so high in the air, radio signals can transmit over three times their normal length. People down in sector or in like as far as Talafar, they can send a radio signal here and we put our, re our radios on retrans mode and the radio signal goes from us to wherever it needs to go. Having a unique mission like this away from the fobs, food isn't always the best. They can't exactly send us fresh food all the time. They send us, you know, fresh food every once in a while, but it doesn't last long. So we got to eat stuff that's like, you know, boil in a bag or not exactly MREs, but it's not exactly five star either. Through the hardships of working on a mountain, the troops from 3rd ACR always accomplish this vital mission. Reporting from Sinjar Mountain, Iraq, I'm Specialist Jim McKinney.